Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a long time, but we're ready for lesson six. So I have had a busy couple of weeks. My parents are coming in in a couple of days. Um, so what happened was, I was watching a bunch of docu documentaries, Amish documentaries, and I was thinking to myself, my gosh, those women work so hard, I can get everything done myself. So, on top of working, I tried to clean the house top to bottom, and my aunt's house, and she needed a lot of help with her pantry, so I helped her clean her pantry, which she has a gigantic pantry. I helped her clean her pantry from top to bottom, which took a, a while, and the bottom line is I ended up injuring my hands, which is one of the worst things that can happen. I thought I wasn't going to be able to write on Monday, so I just took five ibuprofen on Monday morning and muscled through. And so, now you know what's been going on with me, but I'm not going to harp on all of that and I'm just going to get right to this. I'm better now and my parents are coming down and everything's squared away so I figured it's either now or never. We're over halfway done and this lesson is a really good one. We're introducing five amazing keys. The first key we're introducing is H, so H is had on your cheat sheet and K is can, A, long A is A, EU and that is the word A and then we have long E A O E and then we have the long O which is O E so O E by itself is basically zero so if you're gonna say 302 then you write 302 and it would be 302 so it's not really a word it's a it's a digit and the long E is a suffix, it's an ending. So, what would be baby, babe, E. You'd come back for that long E. So it's not gonna be a word brief, it's gonna be a suffix brief. So let's just go through the words we just learned, which was had, can, and a. So we're gonna go through some phrases. Can he? Can you, can the, had the, can they, remember they is TD, had they, can you go, why are, why they, he said, you said, do, had said, gay, Pay, J's, days, day, go ahead, GD. The word days would be with the asterisk since we already use days for the common word days. And so that is known as a conflict. And in Seno, sometimes there are conflicts where the outlines share each other. And so you pretty much always give precedence to the one that is the most common or however you remember it the easiest. So obviously days, as in dazed and confused, is not a common word compared to days. So you're going to put the asterisk in it. So this is not only known as a conflict, but this is also known as a homonym. We'll get more into that, but I wanted to introduce your first one early because there are many of those in Steno since we have a compact keyboard. So I wanted to get you familiar with a conflict. Requesting, examining, weird, ward, hard, he had, you had, heard, heat, beat, and beat, the cooking beat, is less common, so you're going to put the asterisk in it. That's another conflict, another hominin. Basically, most of the cooking homonyms is going to have the asterisk. I've noticed that, that when it's a word for cooking, if, it ha if it's sharing the stroke with something else, the cooking one is going to have the asterisk because cooking is very, um, the cooking ingredients are rare unless you specifically do cooking or you do local news. Then we have jeer, cheer, this, they, 
He Cheers Chard. And chard is another one that needs the asterisk because it's a cooking ingredient and the word chard is going to be more common than the cooking ingredient chard. So there you got chard, beets, and thyme. Those are all going to need the asterisk. The heart in the chore. Remember to get your punctuation. The only time you want to leave out punctuation is if you're in the middle of the test and it's a life or death situation. You don't want to leave it out during theory. Chairs are hard. Why are cheers late? Mate, go ahead. Get more padding. He had more fleeing to do. So you want to push yourself as much as you can because you need to be writing around 60 words a minute when you're done with theory. And so you can never push yourself too hard. But get clean strokes in theory. It's essential that your strokes are clean. So go over this video a couple of times if it was too fast for you until you get it right. But just keep at it. Keep practicing every day when you start school. I know Mark just started his programs this fall. When you start school, you'll just be out the gate, boom. My brother started in Mark's school and he had been following along on the videos and he said that he wasn't clear on the placement of the fingers. So I wanted to say that you need to be right there, asterisk in the middle, and then you have to move over for the D and the Z. Your pinky should not be on the D and the Z. Obviously, if you're a student, you already know this, so I'm not going to harp on it. But I wish you all good luck if you just started theory and you're really excited. It is the most exciting thing. Theory is my favorite part about school. And keep your optimism. Keep practicing. Everyday practice. That's the most important thing. I'll see you in the next video.